I'm just kidding. I am so excited to be pregnant again. Um, there's probably a million questions running through your mind and there will be a time and a place to answer. But truth is I just was late and we weren't necessarily trying, but we weren't not trying. We were just kind of like whatever. And I was so busy and just with life and a child and finding a nanny in December that I had sex with my husband one time and I conceived on December 1st and that's the one time we had sex in December and I got pregnant. So, um, you're going to be seeing this tomorrow. That's how long I've waited to film this and I am 18 weeks. So I am almost like in two weeks, I'm gonna be halfway through the pregnancy. I have kept this a secret for a really long time and so many times I was like almost showing my belly in videos or pictures or on my story and I was just like, oh shit, I can't post that. Or like something I would say, um, or like I'd be filming a video and just be totally out of breath. I'm like, I'm just so gonna give this away on accident. So I'm super glad that I finally am just announcing it and honestly, I was waiting for the moment to film this and to like put together the intro and whatever because honestly, I I did not film me taking the test. I did not film my reaction. I did not film. I was just going about my daily life and I just happened to take a pregnancy test 4 days prior to taking one. It was negative. Um I went to our uh, Nick's holiday party and I got super drunk and probably like the drunkest I've actually ever been, like not ever been, but like since I was like 15. Um, and I was not hung over the next day and that was really bizarre. So I, <laughs> I, w I, I went home a few days later and took a pregnancy test, even though the one I had just taken was negative. I took another one. I was naked. I was about to get in the shower it was positive. And then I took about four or five more and I kind of just like walked out in a towel and showed it to Nick and I was like, dude, look at this. So I really was a horrible YouTuber when it came to finding out and all of that for this pregnancy. I really didn't film anything at all. I was just in the moment, enjoying my life, doing my thing and not really worrying about filming. So that's why I don't have any super fancy, thought out, beautiful intro for this video, but I will tell you that my first reaction was two things at once. I was like, oh f and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so <laughs> it was, oh fuck, because becoming a parent from not, ha going from not having a child to having a child was probably one of the biggest adjustments and is still an adjustment for me that I've ever gone through in my entire life almost. So, or maybe it takes the cake. And so I just was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to, I'm about to not only be a solo mom multiple weekends and days and whatnot when Nick is at work, but I'm the, also going to be pregnant on top of it. So, um, I, I'm looking forward to posting pregnancy content again, but yes, I am 18 weeks pregnant and we do know the gender and we do know the name and I am looking forward to doing like a Q and A kind of sit down chatty, get ready with me or something with you guys. Now that the baby is out of the bag, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I have been lying to you guys. Sorry about that. Many of you watching this were like, are probably sitting there saying like, I knew it, I freaking knew it. And you are good because <laughs> you totally knew. Like somebody commented in a vlog recently when I said my gums were bleeding and they were like, are you pregnant? And I wanted to be like, 
yep, I was editing that. I was wondering who was gonna see that and be like, dude, she's fucking pregnant. She's out of breath. Her gums are bleeding. Like, also, I kind of looked a little pregnant in that video. I am showing way earlier this time with, than with Harlow. Um, I have clips from, I did a, a, a vlog throughout like a few weeks of the pregnancy that I'll put together and put out soon. But um, I was showing by like 13 weeks in 12 weeks. Like I had a bump like really early. So as they say, you show a lot sooner uh, with your second pregnancy and they were not kidding. I look, so when I was 18 weeks pregnant with Harlow, I'll have to look back through my pictures, but I'm pretty sure I just looked bloated and I hadn't popped yet. I don't think I popped till around 22 weeks or something like that. I started feeling movements with Harlow at 19 weeks. Um, so I'm expecting that any day now. I've felt random ones like quickening, but I haven't felt any like full on kicks or like heel across the stomach or anything like that. So I am expecting that actually pretty quickly. But um, we are super excited. I am super excited to be pregnant. Um, and I did want to acknowledge those women out there that have maybe had a miscarriage recently. I've seen some of you in my DMs and my heart goes out to you. And, um, uh, and, and just to those of you who are struggling to become pregnant, I understand if you have to like take a step back from my content for a while, just for your own mental health and for your own, you know, well-being. I totally understand. Um, and just my heart goes out to you for what you're going through. And, um, I just want to send all of the good vibes. I just want to know, I, I just want to let you know that like, I, I see you, I hear you. And like I said, if you need to take a step away from my content for a while, I totally understand no hard feelings. Um, but with that being said, I'm also very excited to be pregnant alongside of a lot of you as well. And I would love to hear all of your tips and tricks for managing, um, a, a, a small child at Harlow is going to be 15 months about when this one is born. And, um, I <laughs> just, I, I just need all the help I can get. If you guys have any tips or tricks of, or words of wisdom or, um, positive words, let me know. I am a little sick of hearing negative words. Um, I've, I've seen a few memes about this recently too, but like, let's not set moms up for, oh, we'll just wait till you have a second one or oh, wait for, you know what I mean? Like let's, I would just love to see more positivity surrounding it and more uplifting and not like, like my experience is most likely not going to be like your experience and your experience is most likely not going to be like mine. So please just leave positivity in the comments. And if you have any tips and tricks on how to get through pregnancy with a little one at home. I would love to hear it. Um, I also want to know what your opinion is. Do you think it is easier to go from one child to two, or was it harder to go from zero children to one child? My theory is that it is easier to go from one child to two, simply because you've been there before, you've done it, you know what to expect. Not that every child is the same, but um, you know what to expect. You have all of this stuff. You most likely have some help in place already, possibly, hopefully. And you, your time's already not yours anymore. You know what I mean? You're, you've already, you're already, you've already got one. So, and my camera died on me. I'm just filming on my vlog camera. Very casual. So, um, yeah, I'd love to hear your, your, um, your opinions on that below. Let me know. I also did want to mention that if you are a mother or an expecting mother, I do have a Facebook group that I created. I created a Facebook group called the Real Moms Club. I will link it for you guys in the description box below. But the whole um, point of this group is to have a safe space for moms to brag about their children, to vent about their children, to vent about their partners, um, their husbands, their girl, whatever you've got going on at home. Have You have a place to share and ask questions without being judged by other moms because 
that shit doesn't fly with me. Like everyone's journey is totally different. So you do you. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that is there for you. If you need it, it's a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy the group. So thank you to those of you that have become admins for me. And for those of you who have joined and just added a sprinkle of laughter and fun or relatable stories or relatable hardships on there, like love you guys. It's been great. So, um, I'm going to close this video off, but, uh, I'm really looking forward to creating some more pregnancy content and just content in life in general with one and then one on the way. Like this, this is going to be, this is going to be a journey, you guys. Um, and I'm really stoked you guys are here to, um, to do it with me. So I will let you guys go for now. I hope you're having an awesome Monday and hopefully it's not too much of a Monday, Monday -y Monday. Um, and drop some comments below about any kind of stuff you'd like to see. I've got some stuff pre-filmed with like outfits and whatnot. So we'll be sprinkling some of that in, but I hope you guys have a good one and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my stomach. I feel like I have to take a freaking giant shit. Or just like, oh, like I ate too much. Ooh, baby, baby. Look at this freaking thing. Look at it. Just look at it. Dude, my boobs hurt, man. Oh my gosh. They're so sore.